Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I would like to talk to you guys about a growing trend in equipment repair. Now, I had a device today that I wanted to ship out to the manufacturer because the part that was bad was a pressure transducer and it was pretty much a one-off part. Very, very difficult to find. Normally, pressure transducers, they're not that difficult. This was a Covidian unit and I wanted to maybe see if I can get a part. Well, more and more manufacturers are not selling parts. They're definitely not giving us information in the form of manuals. And the growing trend is that manufacturers are doing flat rate repairs. And that would be fine if it was for a reasonable price. But the flat rate repair, they'll give you a refurbished or reconditioned unit in, in reality, all they're gonna do is they're gonna go through and replace this pressure transducer. And I assume that this pressure transducer, according to the prices of similar pressure transducers elsewhere, it's gonna be between 50 and $150. But let's just assume that the part costs $500, okay? $500. Okay, fine, whatever. No, the manufacturer wanted to charge us a flat rate repair of $3,515 to fix this unit. And the only thing that was wrong with it is this tiny little, it's a, it's a pressure transducer, but they call it a flush mounted membrane pressure transducer. You can find them. Um, it's just this particular one has a very special pin out and it looks like it's a one-off part from Germany. And I'm assuming that this pressure transducer is the piece that most often goes bad in this unit. Now I'm gonna post some photos of this uh, irrigation unit. It's, it's a fluid management system and a fluid management, a fluid management, I'm so pissed off guys, I can't even talk right now. A fluid management system, what it does is it usually has a peristaltic pump, a roller pump, and it also usually has a pressure monitoring system. So what it does is it will monitor the pressure of the fluids that are going out to the patient so that you don't give them too much pressure. Well, there's all sorts of manufacturers that do it. Um, it's just this particular unit is a Covidian. I've never seen one before. I've never had to deal with one before, but if anything breaks on it whatsoever, and I'm, I'm talking even a power button, it's a $3,500 and $15 repair. I could not believe it, $3,500. And that's, that's only Covidian, and that's for this irrigation unit. Now, just to be honest, an irrigation unit, a $3,500 irrigation unit pretty much buys a brand new unit. So what are we getting for this flat rate repair? I'm, I don't really understand it. The only time I seen one that was worse, it was a cardio help, cardio help. I had a crack and it was a hairline crack right across the touch screen. And cardio helps are a portable ECMO machine. So they, they are very complex devices, but still I was able to find an equivalent part and it was only about $35, $39 for the replacement touch screen. And I'm just talking the glass screen that's your uh, digital encoder. Encoder. That repair, they wanted to charge me $8,200 for a flat rate repair. And all that was wrong with it was a cracked touch screen encoder. Now guys, when you see some of my videos and I'm kind of anti-manufacturer and I'm trying to save money any way I can, it's because of stuff like this. We are getting into this age where everything is a flat rate repair. It used to be back in the day, when you ship something out to the manufacturer, they will itemize the parts that are bad, they will present you with a list and often photos of the parts that were defective, and they would give you a quote that you must approve and kick out a PO for. That's not how they do things anymore. Most companies nowadays do flat rate repairs, and they're absolutely ridiculous. So if you can, source out your parts from a third party if possible. Companies like this Covidian, they're an absolute pain to deal with. And if Covidian, if any of you guys watch this video, 
you know something? We're just done with you. We are, so many of us are just pissed off at the way that you guys do business. And the, the other company that does this, who, who was that one? Was it Medtronic? I think it's Medtronic. Those guys, come on. It's, they just tried, they tried charging me $6,200, just a flat rate fee for repairing a cable on an O-arm. That's not the total bill. The total bill was 14,000 something, but just flat rate fee for them to show up, walk in the door with their magical toolkit. It was like $6,400 flat rate fee for a Medtronic O-arm. It was just ridiculous. So this is getting to be a worse and worse trend with these companies, and I'm just going to be vocal about it because we're we're getting really tired of it. If something stupid and simple breaks, they're charging us a flat rate repair instead of a reasonable cost for repair. So that's all I got for you guys. Keep an eye out on it. It's going to be a growing trend, and I'm speaking out about it because it's absolutely ridiculous. And if you're wondering why the cost of your health care keeps going up, it's because not just pharmaceuticals, but also your equipment manufacturers, they're just scandalous. So be weary, guys. And if you can, cross-reference your parts and get them from third party.